beaten and burned. Tonight, a second woman is facing charges in the disturbing case of abuse of that three-year-old boy. 12 News' Christina Palladino is live at the Milwaukee County Jail. And Christina, she's in trouble for not getting the boy help. Yeah, Jennifer Garcia and her mother, Mary Jane Calderon, are behind bars here tonight. Now, we've told you about how Garcia is accused of beating a little boy so badly he's paralyzed on a ventilator. Now, prosecutors are charging her mother for not helping the child. According to a criminal complaint, Calderon dropped by her daughter's Southside home last month early in the morning and saw the boy nearly lifeless on the couch. Instead of calling 911 or taking him to the hospital, police say the pair spent hours making up a story. About how the child was injured. Another relative stopped by and finally called 911. West Dallas investigators say Garcia is the girlfriend of the boy's father, and for two weeks she had been beating him and burning him with cigarettes while he was in her custody. Police tell me this is one of the worst cases of child abuse their department has ever seen. It was very disturbing, um, and it was, um, we had, I assigned. At least 10 detectives to work on the case because there were so many different family members involved. Um, the father had um, children um, by you know, different mothers, and for some reason, Jennifer Garcia was watching all the children at that time. Now, we understand the boy's mother is in Chicago, and she recently gave her son up to family members. The boy's father was just released from jail here today. We tried to talk to him, but he refused to comment. We are live in downtown Milwaukee tonight. Christina Palladino, WISN 12 News.